How much has uh, radio astronomy changed since it was first invented by Nikola Tesla in 18, 1899 and like yeah. claimed that he saw signal or uh, received signals from Martians? Yeah, yeah. Actually, radio astronomy really wasn't invented or at least discovered or used until the 1930s. There was a guy working at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in New Jersey, and he was the first one to realize that there were some uh, signals coming from space. In fact, it was from the Milky Way, and he made a map of the Milky Way. Uh, so that was the beginning. Tesla, as did Marconi, both thought that they had found signals coming from Mars, but the, they were not coming from Mars, and they didn't have the kind of equipment that would allow them to find anything going from Mars anyhow, but uh, they were deluded. Oh, uh, how, how much, how could uh, uh, SETI improve their uh, radio telescopes in the future? Well, you can always build bigger ones. Uh, that's one approach. And uh, we do that. I mean, the biggest radio dish in the world, single dish radio telescope, was in Puerto Rico, the Arecibo antenna. But that collapsed about eight or nine months ago. Uh, today, the biggest one is in China the so-called fast radio telescope. And uh, it's, it basically looks like Arecibo. They just copied it, but made it bigger. So that's the biggest single dish. But there are other kinds of radio telescopes being built that use lots and lots of smaller antennas, which has a lot of advantages. And you can, in fact, equal the performance of one giant antenna with lots and lots of small ones, and it's a lot cheaper. Would uh, sending, would putting uh, radio telescopes into space be any of any benefit? Well, I don't think so in general, right? I mean, you put telescopes into space because you want to sort of uh, circumvent the deleterious effects of the atmosphere. For example, why is the James Webb Space Telescope in space? Why was the Hubble Space Telescope in space? Those are both optical telescopes, but you know, by putting them in space, uh, they don't have to uh, deal with the messing up of the imagery that you get when you're down here on Earth because of the atmosphere. Now, radio telescopes generally don't suffer that because the atmosphere doesn't do much to radio signals. So uh, in general, putting them in space is not either necessary or even a good idea because it would be very hard to put a really big radio antenna into space. Would be any way of... Um... Is radio background noise a big problem with radio telescopes? Is there any way to mitigate it? Yeah, it is. And uh, there are schemes to reduce what is called RFI, radio frequency interference, which is just you know all the uh, electrical equipment that we have on Earth for our own benefit, for our own convenience, but it also messes up the telescopes. And in particular, uh, satellites, Earth satellites, which are used to you know, uh, handle transatlantic telephone calls or to uh, uh, bounce television signals from Europe to the United States and that sort of thing. These satellites, of course, all have transmitters on board. And those transmitters are up there in the sky. And uh, a couple of them are always visible no matter where you are. So that's a real problem, how to get around that interference. And um, so for ra radio telescopes, do you think uh, using that to find extraterrestrial life is the best method, or is there other means that are looking more promising now? Well, there are other ways. I mean, there are uh, several experiments, about three actually, that are looking for flashing lasers. And uh, they may exist, and we haven't looked for them in the past very much, so uh, that's a, a new technology. But the other thing you could look for is uh, what are called artifacts, just something that really advanced societies could build. Right. I mean, these societies could be billions of years more advanced than we are, not just millions. They could be billions. And so what sort of things are they building? What do they do with their time? Right. I mean, maybe they're just watching reality television shows. But if they're building anything big, we might see that. Thank <laughs> you.